Greetings, Beck Warriors. Happy New Year and happy holidays. Hope you all had a wonderful break. We did. I am Darren Katz, uh, Senior Marketing and Community Manager at Piranha Games, and I'm joined by Matt Newman. Matt, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you, Darren? I am wonderful because we are back to work, which, yeah. you know, when I think back of my entire lifetime of jobs and employment, I don't think I've ever said that. So that's something to think about. I am super excited and happy to be back to work. Good, we good. did have a wonderful Christmas. Um, I know both of us got a little snow, so we kind of had the the, the white Christmas. Um, just but enough. In, <laughs> just enough, right? We didn't get snowed in, but we could look out and see a little bit of snow. I was a Canadian. So, like, if you get like three days of snow and then it goes away, like that's typical for Vancouver. But as a Canadian, that's like a miracle, right? So, <laughs> yeah. the rest of the country is socked in, but Vancouver has like green grass everywhere. Yeah, I mean, I'm only about like three hours from you, so I I find that we typically have the same weather patterns. Um, and uh, you know, I'm three hours down here, and I'm ready to come up there as soon as yeah. those borders open. But uh, anyway, speaking of the holiday, we had a, a pretty cool holiday in terms of um, sales and events. You want to kind of go through the list of the what we had going on last yeah, month? Yeah, for sure. Let's recap. Um, mm -hmm. Well, I mean, leading up to like December, um, December was very busy. Uh, we had a lot of things we wanted to accomplish before we went on holidays. As well as announcing the, so much. the delay in MW5 and that kind of stuff. Yeah. So um, we did the advent calendar event. We did um, the you know stocking stuffers. We did um, Boxing Day, and then we had the free uh, holiday bonus max. And when you logged in on the 28th, yeah, that gave us the uh, snowball and the fireball. Yep. We have a bunch of urban max out there that we didn't have before, and some Phoenix Phoenix Hawks. Now, we do want to address some of you out there in the community, the uh, the clanners amongst you, and I'm not going to judge you for that, uh, wanted some clan mech love. So we are fully aware that we gave you two free inner sphere mechs. Um, that wasn't like out of choice. We were we were just trying to, we were putting a package together. We liked those mechs and, you know, we thought it would be a, a cool gift, but uh, we weren't intentionally in any way sliding you clan mech lovers out there. So it's in our minds. We the know you want a mech Christmas too. Christmas will be uh, <laughs> clan mech. <laughs> exactly. We'll we'll do two clan mechs. Maybe we'll see. Right. But anyway, we heard you loud and clear, and uh, we will be sure to make uh, give you some clan love as well. But um, yeah, yes. it was a very event eventful month. Yeah. Well, I was just gonna say a lot of sales too, like you know the uh, yeah. bundles of joy, spirit of giving, uh, dropship deals. Um, you can still get. Uh, um, complete collections. The bundles are still up. Yeah. Complete collections are still up. The bundles are still up. Um, and the bundles did really well. Like, what did you say the stats were on the number of new mech bays or empty mech yeah, bays that cool. we have? The, so we had the, the best seller uh, out of that, uh, all the bundles was for sure the uh, Mrs. Claus Baker's Dozen mech bays, which was 13 um, mech bays. And so, you know, I looked about a week ago and we had something like over 15, I think over 15,000 new mech bays out there. So a lot of empty mech bays that need filling and maybe they're being filled. Yeah, I can't well, tell. The, but, uh, uh, the big deal sale right now, all mechs yes. 50% off. So now's a good time to grab those mechs with all those empty mech bays floating around out there. Fill and the up. engines, people kept asking for engine sale. The engine sale is going on right now. So be sure to get your engines as well. Yeah, that's going to be um, for quite a, a number, a few more days, along with the yeah. weekend warrior event that's uh, happening right now. But that's not all we've done since we've been back, is it, Darren? No, it's not all we've done at all. <laughs> but I just want to say real quick, in terms of December, just looking back at December, uh, we had um, a nice uh, results with the sales and as well as player count. We saw player count going up. Um, I was also watching streams. I saw that the streamers had more uh, attention. So overall, a good month, December, for MechWarrior Online. And we're hoping to take that into January and, uh, and beyond. But yeah, what were you going to say? Um, I forget, I guess I was kind of trying to segue into what we're doing now, right? Like, as we were talking yeah. about December. Well, and, perfect segue, yeah, January. Yeah. <laughs> January. <laughs> well, that I mean, the, flawless, the player man. count went up too. Yeah, perfect segue. It's like, <laughs> don't even have to edit this. Um, yeah. The, yeah, the player count peaked like right around the end of, um, of December there. Cause I think all the events were running all at once. Like even the advent event that I launched on, Jan on December, early in December. Uh, was mm -hmm. still you're still able to grab that so i think a lot of people logged in close close to the end and they were able to rack up a lot of goodies and content and uh 
C bills and MC and everything um, right at the end there and get those free max. So good player counts, uh, good sales numbers, like an indication that, um, you know, what we're doing will get a response from you guys. And that's what we want to, to see is that, you know, we've got a lot of ideas. Darren and I have a lot of work to do and um, we love getting the response from you guys. We love hearing from you. And we love uh, seeing the results that you guys uh, generate and all the enthusiasm you guys are putting in on the forums or on um, social Twitter. media channels. Everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. Really, really appreciate yep. it. Love the feedback. Good or bad, tell us what you want. And we're listening and we're working. And so maybe we should catch them up on what we've been doing since we've been back. It's been how long, Darren? Two, two weeks. Yeah, we came back on the 4th. And this is Friday yeah. the 15th when we're recording this. It's... Almost two weeks. Yeah, three thirty-one p.m. PST time, and yep. we've been we've been meaning to record this since Monday the eleventh. Yeah, right? <laughs> which can, can give you kind of a clue as to what our schedule has been like. But yeah, basically the holidays, the month of December, thumbs up, guys. Totally stoked to see the response from the community, both in sales, which obviously it's a business, it matters, but also player count. And like I said, I've been hanging out in Discord channels, I've been hanging out in streams. A lot of good response from you guys. So we appreciate that December. Let's continue with uh, uh, January and 2021 and keep moving, keep the momentum up. But uh, basically that was the post holiday sit rep. And now we will move into January and the first quarter 2021. Yeah. And let's move on to this month and quarter one of 2021. Um, so we've been back for, look at, there's your family yeah. working from home. It's good stuff. That's yeah, awesome. um, so this month and next month, what's kind of the basic outline of what we're doing? Well, one thing that we can touch on is that people have been asking, where have we been? We haven't been communicating since we've gotten back. You and I have been extremely busy, we've obviously. We've been communicating just internally. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, internally. We've had more meetings in the last two weeks than we had in the entire of December. Pretty much. It, no, that is totally true. And so the other thing is we meant to record this vlog on Monday. So it's Friday. <laughs> you could tell that it got bumped and bumped and bumped. Um, so first of all, I just want to say my apologies for not having more communication. It wasn't intended. It was just kind of what happened. And that's why, uh, there has been, like, if I had known we weren't going to record this till Friday, I would have made a post saying we're not going to record this till Friday. Um, every day this week we intended to record it and something came up. Yeah, it was and supposed to be it, the so. Monday update. And then it was, yep. you know, <laughs> then we were going to okay, do, gonna okay, do okay, well, let's do it Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. Wednesday, what, what day did your power go up? It's like. It was Wednesday. Yeah, my, my power were... went out the entire day Wednesday because we had insane wind up here. And uh, in fact, we had to delay recording today because the tree cutters were outside cutting the trees that were all over. Too. <laughs> yeah. So it's, you know, it's part of the challenges of working from home. We don't have the perfect environment and we've been busy. It's been so these two weeks, especially the first week coming back from the holidays, some of us were back, but not everybody was back. So it was kind of getting back into the swing of things, uh, both internally. Well, first getting back into the swing of things between you and I, Matt, then yeah. internally with the rest of the team, and then externally with our new partners, it's been a lot of just, uh, you know, uh, it's been a hectic couple of weeks, to say the least. Um, I feel definitely more than ever that when I wake up in the morning, sit down at my desk, all of a sudden it's nighttime, and like, what the heck happened to the day, the week, etc. But the reason I'm feeling that is because we're both pumped to do this. Like we came back with so oh, yeah. much energy and enthusiasm for doing this. And, and it can't, what I'm getting at here is that I relate with you saying that we can't get this done fast enough. We totally agree. We feel yeah. the same thing. Um, but uh, as I've said before, there's a procedure and that's what we are doing. We're making this happen one step at a time. We are moving forward and Matt and I are not going to uh give up we are we're totally stoked about this and pumped about what's coming in 2021 so let's talk about that what is coming this month well, let's let's i kind of want to rewind a little bit and rewind. just talk about so like this pre, the first week we came back and uh we knew what our goals were for 2021 russ gave us a mandate of what we want to do for mechware online we know uh, we're working on the roadmap that you guys want and that's going to be posted um, and we're working on plans for content. We're working on all these different things and those things are coming together. They're coalescing, but, 
a part of those that planning process is really coordinating with all of the resources that are involved in getting that work done. And, um, you know, we're going to lay it out as best we possibly can to you guys, but keep in mind that there's always these unknowns and things that come up that are going to make it challenging for us to make sure that we can hit exactly every date that we give you, but we're yeah. going to structure the year in four quarters and we're going to have our goals for each quarter. And Q1 is really about uh, getting as much of those low hanging fruit changes that we can into the game for you guys. And we've been planning a patch. So um, I think that, you know, that's what you really want to talk about right now, Darren, is letting them know what we're trying to get into that patch. We don't have the exact date for it yet. Um, it's looking like February. <laughs> hey, Phoenix. Hi, Daddy. How's it going? I'm, I'm actually recording a vlog with... Uh, the entire community. <laughs> <laughs> That's that my great. son. He's he's awesome. Let me just point out that uh, again for the people that don't know out there, your sons are named after battle mechs. I mean, yeah, that's Griffin just too Phoenix. much. There's actually a Griffin yeah. right there. Yeah, I know. Yep. Um, but uh, yeah, so we can get into the first patch and the things that we have coming for sure. So can we pause one second while I find out. Let's what my pause son one second. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we have a patch that we are hoping to get out uh, as soon as possible um, next month, February, right? Is that the That's the target, current... yeah. So we're working with the resources to make sure that we can get all the things we want into the patch, and we're going to tell you what those things are right now. Um, yep. There is some details that still need to be worked out, so we can't guarantee that each one of these things is going in that patch. Or that there'll even be a patch in February, but we're trying our dangdest to get it in there, and that's yeah. that's the the fact of it is that, and this is one thing we can talk about um, is you know a lot of our goals for 2021 were set out with the idea that um, Mac Warrior Five was going to launch on um, in December 10th, and then yeah. the anniversary edition would have been out, and uh, DLC one would have been out, and it would have been in four platforms, and things would have been different. Uh, sure. When we got acquired, new partners, new ambitions, Xbox versions, um, you know, the the shifting uh, schedule. Things shifting all over the yeah. place. So yeah. we're not, not doing anything for MWO. Like MWO is still a top, top priority for uh, Darren and I and at the studio. So much so that we're coordinating with the top levels of everybody in production to get this content done. Um, absolutely and that's why it's been a have, really positive oh, two huge, weeks like huge like there's no, yeah. never been this much act there hasn't been this much action in mwo in in two years i know so it's cool just i know that people are getting impatient yeah but i beg of you just continue to be patient with us for a be little patient. while longer we're shooting for february and I, I anticipate we are going to get a patch out in february but you know if you make these promises and you break them they get mad i don't want to make promises yeah. but i do want them to know we're working and that's that's our goal right um, yeah. so let's go over the items that we're trying to get in there. I think that's exciting stuff. And so, absolutely. Um, so this will be the first of, you know, the patches for MechWarrior online in 2021. Um, just kind of continuing the momentum that we got through the end of year last year. Um, obviously we got the, uh, the cadet tier changed back down to tier five for starting cadets. Um, so that is done and over with. So moving on, basically, what we are trying to get into this first patch, again, this isn't uh, a guarantee on each one of these items, but um, this, this is, is what we are. This is all stuff that they've asked for, too. Like, this is stuff. Yeah, this is all stuff that you've asked for, and this is what we're trying to get in. All right, so here's what we have lined up, hopefully, for the next patch, the first patch uh, next month in February. Yep. Again, all fingers, toes crossed, this is all going to happen. Obviously, we already got the uh, cadet tier, starting tier changed last month, which was, uh, you know, not a big deal, but... Still something you guys wanted and also obviously necessary for the new player experience. So I'm glad we got that uh, done and over with last month. Moving on to this month, the first thing that we're going to try and have on the list taken care of is increasing the player reconnection requirement. So uh, currently it's at two minutes. And what we're, we're hoping gonna, is... Hoping to double it. Double it? Yep. Yeah. So it'll be, um, We still have to do format. some checks with the uh, disconnection punishment system to make sure that there's no weird overlap. Like you come back, reconnect in three minutes and still get a punishment for disconnection. So, you know, right. um, just some fine details to work out, but we've made the request. It's gone into re code review. Um, the work will be done once they've confirmed that it won't have knock-on effect. Uh, and then it would be reviewed by QA, and then it would go into the build for February. 
So those are the steps that need to happen next after the code review um, is do the work, check for knock-ons, get it in the, the, the queue for the patch, to QA to test, and then make it into the February patch. And, you know, being a, a bit of a layman in the industry and, and, you know, yes, I've been working with you guys for a long time, but obviously I wasn't in the office um, and didn't know the procedure for everything. I will mention real quick because I, I do get comments every once in a while from people in the community like, oh, that's just a, you know, a, an XML change or whatever. It's just changing some numbers and pressing enter. Um, the one thing I've learned through this entire process is things that seem really easy to me that it is just changing some numbers. Um, sometimes aren't, you're talking about knock on effects, you know, and I know I used to work at a software company and, you know, it was like a rule of thumb. Whenever you'd fix a, a bug in your application, it would create 10 new bugs, you know, that you didn't foresee. Um, and that's kind of what you're referring to is that sometimes there's things that are tied into each other that just, you, you don't see and until you make the changes and, or, you know, send it to, uh, to quality QA and, and, and let them find those, um, you know, knock on effects essentially. So while I started off this thinking everything was going to be super easy, I did learn that some of it has a little bit more involved than uh, I previously thought. So that's uh, the first one, increasing yeah. the player reconnection requirement. The next one is lower or remove unit C bill, C bill recruitment costs. Obviously lower, we don't want the option we're going to take. <laughs> yeah. And, and again, because same exact reason, right? Knock on effects. So yeah. What we're going to do is significantly reduce, uh, reduce those costs because we don't want any sort of paywall or, um, you know, in-game currency type issue, uh, basically barring you guys from getting together and playing as uh, friends and groups and units um, and having that uh, group experience, which obviously um, that's an important aspect of MechWarrior Online. So yeah, what is the status of that? Is, is, uh, so, um, I mean, I think that it is a back-end code change. So uh, I think... It's going to require engineer. Um, we have to still give them the values that we want. My gut check is to take, you know, take some zeros off. Take some zeros off because it gets it gets pretty expensive. Yeah. Um, and we've heard you guys. You guys want it lower, so we're going to make it lower. And um, absolutely, that's that's the goal is to take that's a bunch of zeros off and and then put it in the game. And, hope, and let you guys hope, hope nothing breaks. Do units for you know, you know, a significant yeah. reduction of cost. Um, yeah. A pence. A pence, yeah. But it's still, again, <laughs> the work needs to be done. The work yes. needs to be go through QA, and they need to confirm that it, it works. It re it it's works. reflected in the UI, that that's the price that it shows is the price that you pay, and that the unit re uh, recruitment still works and stuff like that. But again, that's another key change you guys want that we're getting in this next or next, next patch. Yeah. But I'm feeling and, good and, about and, that oh. one. So I'm feeling good about the increase of player uh, reconnection one. Feeling mm -hmm. good about the the next one, and I, one thing I, I do want to say, you said them, I can't wait for you to tell them the next one though. I know. Well, I will get to that, but I did. You said the next next patch. One thing I did want to point out real quick. Initially, we talked to you all about having four patches, one each quarter. It's possible, right, Matt, that we could have more than one patch each quarter. Yeah, I mean, which, like right every, now, we're, every we potentially month, are going to every third Tuesday of the month we have downtime. Um, if we can get work done in through QA and into a patch, I mm -hmm. want to get it out there. Uh, yeah. If we're going to make content and, and um, add co new content to the game, um, I want to get it to the player's hands as soon as possible. So absolutely. Um, I'm not going to be holding anything back for uh, that. I, I, got, I just, we're not holding back. That's <laughs> my, we're going crazy, going not crazy, but we're going as fast as we possibly as crazy can. as we can, as crazy as we're allowed to go when we've got yeah. production and QA oversight. <laughs> yeah, so you know, moving forward, it could be up to three patches every quarter, you know, but no less yeah, than that one would be patch. the maximum three, yeah, like once a month. And yep. uh, we can't, we're not patching in January, uh, or shoot, we're shooting for um, February, February would be the first one, could be March, which is March yep. could be another patch. We'll see how this goes, but again taking into consideration that we've got a, a, a large amount of work to still be done on MW5. And those issues are, you know, around things that are related to consoles and working on additional DLC and improving the DLC one pack. And so, yeah, there's yep. lots of, we're, we're getting as many resources as we can, but we're negotiating yep. for all of them based on the priorities of uh, different projects and their needs. So, 
Absolutely. And we will be ramping up, or I should go this oh, yeah. direction. We will be ramping up. So as we move forward and things start rolling, it's going to be a snowball effect and we'll have more resources to do more things more quickly. The more um, we do and the more the players respond, the more we can do. So yeah. that's the goal is to be like, okay, show you guys, put, put we're serious. Show, show them we're serious. Show the players that this is what we're doing. MWO is getting tons of love this year. And yep. the more love you give us back, the more, uh, the more we can do, the more we can ask for resources, right? So that's we're getting the band back together, boys. <laughs> yeah, let's go. All right, <laughs> let's go. So the next one is a fun one. Um, yes, bolt ons, stay ons. That's what we're hoping to uh, make happen for this next patch. So basically, pretty simple, right? You shoot the bolt ons, they stay on. But what we're trying to avoid is any, you know, anything, any complications. Like we don't, you know, hit boxes and yep. etc. Do you want to get a little bit more into the the potential yeah. difficulties with the bolt-ons so i mean we got it reviewed by code so far um and so the stipulation is that like bolt-ons do do collision checks right now and they do collision checks to collide with trees and ballistics and lasers and then they fall off it doesn't block anything it just checks if it's had a collision right so that means that there is a check happening that that means that there is work being done so Initially, the first pass is make that check. It will still happen, but then it'll go like, don't fall off. The basically, like usually the code would say, check if I collided, fall off. Now it's going to yeah. be like, check for collision, do nothing. Um, so what you'd want to do down the road is you'd want to have an artist go through and remove the collision volumes from all of them and then remove the collision check. And then so, because yeah. if you don't, do the remove the collision volumes and you just remove the collision check you have the potential knock on for uh flags to start stopping ballistics or lasers or mm -hmm. missiles or any of the any of the impacts in the game uh and we just can't have that like they can't yeah. the, the whole reason we had them fall off in the first place is because they're like oh you know the pe people would be concerned like you're firing at this thing thinking you hit somebody and it's just going through their bolt on over the shoulder whatever it is right mm -hmm. so that was our initial thought like we wanted our mech silhouette to reflect the hitboxes as accurately as possible. And then yeah. we went and added bolt-ons, which we didn't want to ha affect the, the collision boxes. So we kind of had this moment of like, well, what do we do? We decided to make them fall off initially. But what we've realized is that players don't value that. And so what we're going to do is make them stay on now. So you guys' yep. bolt-ons, you can put them on. They'll be on the be beginning of the match, the middle of the match, the end of the match. And well, stay ons. Yeah, literally call them the, st the stick on stay ons now. Yeah. <laughs> bolt ons. And you think bolted, right? Would be. So I know, right? Enough, but where are these bolts coming from? <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Cheap, um, cheap ass bolts. <laughs> yeah, totally. So that'll be good. And, uh, you know, uh, that's not everybody's top priority as far as bolt ons, but uh, there was a lot of you out there that wanted to see value in the bolt ons. You're just like, well, it makes my mech look good in the mech base. So, yeah. Now they'll look good everywhere. I and think I've throughout heard this combat. question a few times. Why would I buy a bolt on if it doesn't stay on? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. So remedied, hopefully, in this first patch. Yes. Um, the next one is keeping the match time uh time of day static. Um now this was this was interesting, right? Mm -hmm. So we went into there's only what did we find? Six maps? Yeah, we did our research. We went into every map yep. in um in testing grounds. And yep. we looked at what maps actually have time of day change. So there's a variable that you can set called time of day speed. And in the map file, they set the start and the end of that transition. And then time of day speed, obviously, in those maps is like quite fast. And uh, so you'd start and the sun would be coming up over here. And then by the end of the match, it would be over here and the time of day settings would change. And we thought that was a pretty cool feature. Um, but I think a lot of people were concerned that it causes performance issues and that it you know affects gameplay in a sense that it's like okay when i start in the map the sun's like in my eyes or something like that so for six maps and i should actually drill down and say which maps they are we're going to make the time of day static mm -hmm. and we're going to set it to a specific time that darren and i have gone through and chosen um and the reason we're not changing the lighting but what we've done is gone through each map and looked at it and said like well where where do the engagements usually happen? Where do players start um, the match and that kind of thing? And make sure it's just, you know, high enough in the sky. They have nice shadows, but nobody's kind of got an advantage because you're like the sun's blasting in your eyes or something like that. It was on a few maps. It was pretty challenging. Like, let, mm -hmm. let me pull up the list of maps here, actually. I feel like one of the most 
challenging. Well, except that we found a solution, right? It was yep. Crimson Strait. Um, yeah, yeah, but also, cool. yeah, Polar Highlands was a little bit uh, unusual, trying to figure out where the best placement was. We looked for, you know, the, the most common engagement points and which way people were. Obviously, cool. it's not going to be perfect, maybe. And uh, and we totally, uh, if, if, if after it goes through and you guys have some feedback and think of different times would be better or whatever, that's fine. You can let us know. But uh, we spent a, quite a bit of time uh, looking at the times to hope, hopefully find the best times for each map. Yeah. And this is just time, no lighting changes, just set, simply setting it set to this time and keep it static. So we've yeah. got Fortis Colony. It's going to be set to 10 a.m. Yep. Uh, yep. Frozen City, which is going to be set to 2 p.m. Uh, River City, which is going to be set to 10 a.m. Then we've got Viridian Bog, which is going to be set to 1 p.m. And Polar Highlands, which is like uh, 8 a.m. Yeah. And then the last one, Crimson Strait, is kind of interesting. And yeah. we're doing this as an experiment. Um, and so what we ended up doing it was setting it to 6.45 p.m. And it's uh, I'm the golden kind of hour. Lovingly referring it to it as Crimson Straight Dusk right now, but yeah. just consider this that this is just a test. We're gonna put it in a uh, game like this, and in the future, if you guys are like, we want old Crimson Straight back, but we like Crimson Straight Dusk, uh, then we'll look at the possibility of having both. If you guys just want the old one back, then we'll just change it back. Or if you like the new basically, one, yeah, we're six forty five experiment, yeah. Yeah, we are trying to experiment. Six forty-five was cool because uh, you know you had a big sunset. The, the 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 skies were red. There was still a little bit of light, but also the lights on the map turned on. So there was this. It was just kind of a, a nice setting to us, right? To you and I. So yes. you guys, let us know what you think. If you like it, don't like it, want to keep it and have another one as well for day. Just let us know. Um, none of this stuff is set in stone. As far it will be set in stone for the patch, but yeah. on you know moving forward, if there's stuff that we do that you guys think, oh, this would be a better thing, then just let us know. Yeah, for sure. Right? Um, yeah. yeah, and that's that's the goal. Is like we we want to shake things up and uh, make it. You drop in Crimson Strait, and you're like, wow, now this is this is Crimson Strait. This is interesting. This is new. Yeah. And all we're doing really is adjusting a time of day setting. Um, it still requires work. It still re requires QA. It still requires someone to go in and open up the map, change the settings, save yeah. the files, compile the map, um, put it into. It's a not branch. just changing yeah. some numbers on an XML. It never is. Uh, I wish yeah. it was. No, I know. <laughs> I wish it well, was. How did it get out there that that everything we do is just an XML? Um, I think there is cases where you can that can be the case, but this is not certainly. It, yeah, this is it not the case. rarely is. Um, you have to. It has to be. You know, even this some, next one is one that we're still designing, or at least we're coming up with uh, what the solution will be. But basically, yeah. it's just increased the cadet bonus. We realize that the uh, cadets are coming out of their first 25 matches, per, um, most likely, <clears throat> excuse me, with not enough um, resources to... Or items. Uh, item. Well, that's what I mean. Uh, items, resources, money, mechs, whatever, yeah. um, to... Well, just not enough, right? Now, the current not necessarily to, system to, is the achievement system. An achievement yeah. for playing 25 matches starts at 800,000 uh, C bills and drops 25,000 C bills each point to the 25th match where you have are getting uh, 200,000 C bills and that's it. Mm -hmm. So our hope is to, to leave that those C bills there alone, but to as the MC or as the uh, C bills go down, you start including other things, and uh, it just makes sense that like someone would be more way more bought into the game. If if they're getting things like, oh, you've got a color. Oh, you've got a cockpit item. Oh, you've got um, GXP or GSP or you've got um, uh, something else, right? So we, we just want to ramp the rewards uh, or give more rewards that are around content in the game so that they have that kind of like sense of like they have ownership of things rather than coming out of there and being like, okay, great. I finished 25 matches. I've got X amount of C bills and what, what, what do I, I do with now? them? What do I buy now? Yeah. I mean, it's um, obviously the one reason is to give them ownership. And I, and you and I came to that conclusion for sure that when they get done with their 25 matches, if they have more stuff, um, you know, in their account, then that gives them maybe more of a reason to come back and it's better for player retention and, and player interest, but also it's to give them a little bit more of an advantage when they get out of those first 25 matches to getting up to the same level as other players that have been playing for months or years or whatever. 
Um, and so I would say too that this is just the start of our attempts at fixing the new player experience. New player experience, because, yeah, big time. I mean, we've Tip talked the about other solutions, but those solutions aren't solutions where we can just uh, change the rewards mm -hmm. in a, a pre-existing achievement. So if you guys have some ideas out there for um, what you would like to see uh, as far as an increased cadet bonus, uh, send some messages my way and I can uh, in include those in our conversations, uh, Matt and myself. You can either uh, send those to me on Twitter or email darren.cats at piranagames.com. So that's, uh, that was that one, increased cadet bonus, and we'll move on to the final one potentially for this patch, which is... <laughs> I like this one. It's it's funny. You don't really think of this one, um, but whenever you're with somebody that logs into the game, <laughs> you experience it with them. Um, but basically, it's just lowering the intro, the logo intro, when you're logging on to MechWarrior Online from, like, volume level 15 down to something that doesn't make your ears bleed. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory, right? Yep. yep. We experience that every single day. Because we have to log into MW. Too, man. <laughs> yeah, we we all have right, and and maybe some of you uh, realized recently with Mech Warrior Five that that actually happened. Um, Sean, uh, our wonderful uh, sound effects and and music guy, um, actually redid the intro uh, uh, movie for Mech Warrior Five as well. So he brought that volume down. So that's going to be the same thing that we're applying to Mech Warrior Online. So hopefully, uh, some of you can save your hearing for your older days like me. But um, anyway. That is the content that we have right now on the table for hopefully the first patch, hopefully in February. Um, I should point out too, there's you know, titles and badges coming for end of year comp 2020 stuff as right. well. So anybody yep. who's been We've been working that on that stuff, as well. Uh, we're getting that into that patch as well. Yeah, so this is hopefully like we've been saying, a February patch. Um, we don't know what that will mean for March. You know, like pretty much every day, every week, we're discovering new things. We're, you know, making more decisions. So all of this is just fluid and changing as we go. Um, hopefully, we'll just be adding stuff, not taking things away. We'll see. But uh, I'm very excited for this. It's the next step. It's better than, uh, you know, just a, the single change of the cadet tier. Now we've got about a half a dozen things that we're hopefully bringing to you next month. And uh, in as well as this month, us working on this first tuning patch, um, we will also be releasing the roadmap. So I think yep. we should spend a few minutes talking about the roadmap yep. and uh, what that's going to be and what that's not going to be. Before we start um, that, I just want to say um, that, yeah, like some people may go, that patch is really light. That's not that much. Like you're just changing a few things. Um, this is us showing you putting like we we were thinking, you know, we'd patch once a quarter. Uh, but Darren and I came back and we were like, let's show them. Like we, in December, we were like, let's, let's do this. Let's like, let's get as much as we can. And yeah. internally he and I are pushing as much as possible. And thankfully the team is being gracious and, and, and helpful with us and with their very, very busy schedules to give us their time and their information in order for us to try and accomplish these things. Yeah. And, um, that's, I, that's a really big kudos what to the to team is that we're, we're working as hard as possible to get all the changes we can into the game as rapidly as possible. So that's, that's just so you know, this is like about 90% of Matt and I's focus. We do obviously have stuff to do with MechWarrior 5 that we have to work on, but uh, this is where, you know, we're putting the majority of our time. And um, like Matt said, you know, last month, I, like I said, I was uh, feeling a little stressed towards the end of the, or towards the beginning of the month, heading up to the holiday, just knowing the scope of everything we're trying to do and not knowing what the results were going to be from the team, right? We were still last month kind of, you know, yeah, we're going to put this in front of the team, um, but knowing that they're working on MechWarrior 5 and what's happening, you know, first, second quarter, what what is first quarter? No. Anyway, so, are you talking about <laughs> the, the first half of the year of MechWarrior 5, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's either late first quarter early second or early quarter is second our, quarter is our, yeah is our window that's uh, what i was trying to get at yeah. but i couldn't uh verbalize but anyway um you know these guys are super busy so i didn't really know you know them better than i did but i didn't really know what the response was going to be i have to say after coming back in the last two weeks and the meetings and the people we've been talking to i'm absolutely thrilled with the attention that we're getting from them and the cooperation you know um, these are busy guys with a lot of stuff on their plate, but like you mentioned, 
I haven't heard Mech Warrior online be brought up in conversations this much in years. You know, so it's like uh, the team is really on board, and we, as I mentioned, and and as as Matt just mentioned, this may seem light for a first patch, but got to keep. Keep this in mind, guys. We're just we're down here. We're ramping up, yep. and it's just going to keep growing. So and the roadmap's going to show that. Really, I mean, we can segue to the roadmap right now. I don't. Feel let's like do that. To cut, man. That's like just my family, man. All right. <laughs> so what are we going to do this month, Darren? We're going to post a roadblock. Road roadblock. Roadblock. <laughs> roadblock. We're gonna. All right. Here we go. All right. So we said we we're going to post the roadmap this month. We are absolutely going to post the roadmap this month. But as I have mentioned uh, every time we brought it up in the past, the roadmap is going to be fluid, malleable, because like we, uh, you mentioned earlier, Matt, you know, we make discoveries as we go through the process. And so we don't know what's around the corner. We might make a change that affects other changes and so forth. So just be aware that uh, what we put out there is not going to be necessarily set in stone. Obviously, we're going to try and do as much as we can, you know, so that things will potentially get added to the roadmap, not necessarily uh, removed. So we'll just see what happens. Or both. <laughs> or both. Or added, moved. removed, moved well, around. Removed, Absolutely. Like moved, shifted. Yeah, it's going to be like a, a puzzle, you know, and so, and that's part of the plan because as we were saying, we're going to be ramping up. So we're going to have certain resources at the, available to us at the beginning, certain resources available to us in the middle and the end and so forth. So, um, but it's coming, we're going to release it and then let's discuss it. So this is the roadmap that is based on, uh, you know, the forum threads that you guys have all been contributing to that we greatly appreciate and, uh, have been monitoring the, the topics for what you want changed in, in MechWarrior Online in 2021. This is a roadmap based off of that. So, um, well, we can I'm talk very about the themes, right? I started, yeah, the, I started talking about the themes and like Q1 right. is really like the low hanging fruit. Like yes. in the first three months, what can I get done with resources that I have available? It's like, it's these things that we just mentioned in the patch. I don't know yeah. what the next patch is going to look like, but the theme yeah. is going to be, uh, you know, Darren's making bundles. Like we should point out that bundles of joy are going to disappear. And Darren's making bundles. I want to get the new bundles or maybe the bundles of joy on a steam, things like that. Like people have asked, mm -hmm. like, can we get stuff on steam? Um, yes. New content, that kind of thing. Like we're pre-existing content put into good value bundles, put it on Steam. So we're we're looking at doing that kind of stuff too. So anything we can do, with Darren and I, uh, the backend engineer, uh, sorry, database engineer and um, web team, those are the things we're going to try and do. And some engineering uh, help when we can get it, when we can steal it from another project. And so we've got that's the theme for Q1. Like whatever we can scrap together and put together and just be resourceful. And make those changes so the first patch we've talked about whatever the next patch ends up being out we'll have to like flesh out those details in the next coming weeks as we put the roadmap up q2 mm -hmm. i want it to be about taking existing content and re uh, improving and uh, repurposing and fleshing out different areas whether that's uh, putting solaris maps into quick play or not quick play sorry solaris maps into private match or uh, faction play maps in there or putting uh, mm -hmm. faction play maps into another area or I'm hoping to get a uh, level designer in order to, to be able to do some movement around of spawn points that kind of thing yeah that's a big that's one in Q2 and we're going to yep. put a I think we're going to put up a uh, post about that in the coming weeks if not mm -hmm. next week uh, but that which is to get your input obviously yes. uh Matt and I aren't going to choose where the best spawn points are. So I, I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't want to <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just make everybody spawn right here on top of this hill. Yeah. But um, yeah, as far as that goes, like there will be, as we move forward with different, you know, topics, there's going to be times where we're going to absolutely have to come to you and tell you and, and ask you guys, how do we do this? How do you want it done? And spawn points is definitely one of them. And and I think so. I think there's going to be a post that goes up with this vlog too. That is about getting people's feedback on what uh, variants of mechs that are in the game that mm -hmm. don't exist that you want to see exist and how do you want them made like how do you want them but let's be clear that's not new chassis that's no, not new variants, mechs that variants of yeah, mechs so, that exist yeah so that's so there's that's a post that's going up yep with that this. post will be going up either today or you know very soon Should probably today this, right our goal is to put it up yeah. with this that's our goal that, People watching this now will be able to go to mwmercs.com and yep. see if we achieved our goal. Hopefully we do. <laughs> um, <laughs> but and then, yeah, and then, so that was the second. Uh, so Q2 is like, yep. use existing content. Q3 yep. is about, hopefully, new content. Um, you know, what that means right now, new new content uh, and, and more feature improvements, um, that kind of thing. So we've got, 
you know, a lot of variables in there, a lot more than we can even project for right now. But that's the goal for that uh, quarter. So that would be, you know, six, uh, five and a half months from now that yep. that quarter would start. And so that would be the goals for that quarter to achieve by the end of it. So um, whether that includes my much desired uh, event queue, I don't know, um, or whether it includes uh, something different for that the players have requested, um, mm -hmm. we're going to have to figure that out and work that out with the roadmap. But that's like that's the big theme is like new features um, and new content. Yep. And then um, Q4 or Q4, so the end of the year. Uh, will be really about um... nice. That's Use my it. son playing the bass upstairs. That's and, awesome. No apologies necessary, yeah. man. <laughs> my family. Anyways, uh, awesome. Q4. I can't even remember what the theme is now, but it's going to be on the roadmap. So that's going to be posted. <laughs> so don't watch. Keep in mind, guys. This is Friday at the end of day after a very long week. Yeah. So, but yeah, it is it, quarter four. Will obviously, you know, as you can see through what he was just talking about. Um, this is all about ramping up. What, what Matt and I are doing is we're taking all of the topics that you guys have provided us and it's like, you know, laying it out on a, a whiteboard or whatever and it's puzzle pieces that we're moving around and we move them around based on how long it's going to take, how many resources it's going to take, how many resources, resources are available to us at that time. Um, obviously some things are going to take six months to, you know, incorporate and be ready for a patch or whatever. So it's just moving everything around that you have provided us into the appropriate place. And so, um, and don't you know, look again, for like long-term super minutia detail in the roadmap. Look for our, like, like I said, the themes, the intent, um, the kind of goals that we're going to set up for ourselves. Like, um, can we take maps from faction play, repurpose them for quick play maps? Yeah. Like how do we put the spot? So how do we position the spawn points on those faction play maps so they become viable as quick play competitive maps, uh, twelve v twelve, and um, then those are goals we're going to put in those quarters. Like those are like yep. this is something that we players have asked for because uh, mm -hmm. I know players have asked like just grab the faction play maps and put them in quick play. There you go, new content, right? Yep. Um, it requires work. It's not just there you go, but it's a good idea and it's an idea we want to approach with as much uh, careful consideration as possible, but it's a totally valid idea that we want to do. So those are the kind of things that are going to be in the roadmap. They're not always going to land where we say they're going to land, but th we are going to be working for them, working towards them. And this will not be our last vlog. Like Darren and I have every intention of keeping you guys abreast of all these changes as they go in. Um, whether this becomes a bi-weekly thing, a monthly thing, I'm not sure, but our goals are to keep you guys informed as much informed as possible. Right, Darren? Yeah, yeah. So basically, I had at the end of the vlog to go over, you know, what the vlogs are, what the, uh, you know, and 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 what we'll be doing with them and so forth. So we'll get back to that. Um, finishing up talking about the roadmap. Um, you know, the, the, like I mentioned, or Matt mentioned, we're going to be requesting your input on some new mech variants, and I also mentioned uh, requesting your input on, say, you know, spawn points or whatever. Um, we're going to be regularly looking for that in, uh, that input. So that'll be usually in a form of a news post, like the uh, new mech variants one will be, hopefully that we're releasing today with this. Um, so please, again, for those of you out there that you know are frustrated and just want to sit back and watch what happens, we totally understand that and totally appreciate that. Um, but please do watch. Um, but for those of you that want to be involved, man, we appreciate that so much. So do get involved in the discussions because absolutely your voice will have sway you know it, it will make an impact i will be reading everything that uh whenever we re request that input please give it because it helps um you know the whole player base the whole game um move forward yeah it's so it's to like what our motivations are be behind posting this request for like what mech variants you want to see in the game is that we want to we want to get as much input from you guys as to like not just this mech but this variant but like why it's cool, how it would be different from other variants, um, maybe the hard points that you would like to see in it, um, you know, and those kind of things. And then from there, that, that actually actually completes a lot of work for us in the sense that like you guys are saying this this variant, this is how completely how we want it designed. And then yeah. we can take that to, um, you know, David Bradley's and the designers and be like, hey, this viable we take it to the artists and go like do we have how much 
work do we have to do to make put that hard point in that mech? Um, and I mean, I don't know how Darren feels about this. I'm a little less uh, committed to timeline issues. Like I'm, if something's a bit out of the timeline, but it's a chassis that exists, mm. <laughs> I'm I'm perfectly fine with bringing it into the game. Uh, but you know, I know for some people that may be an issue. Uh, I don't, it doesn't matter what I think, man. It doesn't yeah, exactly. matter what you well, think, I, right? I, I guess it, well, it matters a little bit what I think. It matters a little <laughs> bit to, to us. It matters. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, yeah, that's the yeah. purpose of that post. And that's so hopefully you guys can appreciate that, that that's the, f- one of the first things we're going to look at putting into the game in terms of new mech content is mechs that have existed in the game, but they've got these variants that exist in lore or variants that you guys want to see that we haven't made and i know there i've seen lists like this in the past oh, they're out there on the forums yeah. uh yeah. so what we're asking is that you take that data you compile it somewhere and just give us like sell us on it like tell us why that mech would be so cool to put in a game because yeah. we want to be able to sell that to the team in order to get it made and put into the uh game as well so that's speaking cool. of so cool have you seen my shirt i just want to point that out real quick <laughs> master of puppets isn't that awesome? That's that's really sweet. I was I got that for Christmas. Yeah. Um okay, so and also you mentioned I think you brought up earlier the the bundles. The bundles are the bundles of joy are still available. Yeah. Um but we will be changing them this month, right? Well, that's the goal. We're going to redesign them. They may be the number of bundles may be reduced, uh new content put in them. Like I, I think we're open to even getting feedback from the players of like what what they liked and what didn't they didn't like. Well, that's why I was bringing it up is yeah. because I do want your feedback. What do you guys, you guys loved obviously uh, the mech bays and uh, s- some other parts for a long yeah. time. And there, and there were other uh, aspects of the, the bundles of joy that were, you know, top sellers. But um, instead of myself just coming up with more bundles, I would love your input. Matt would love your input on what you guys want to see. So please, um, you know, send me some info on that. I don't know if I already asked that or not, but uh, if I did, that's okay. I want to reiterate. Uh, I would love your input on some new bundles um, for this month and next month, whatever. So we that's should, it gotta, for. We got to end this one, man, because it's like we got to edit it. I know. And... Well, that's it. That's it for. You're about the to wrap map. it up, and I cut you off, aren't you? No, no, no. I was going to wrap up this this last section. We do have a few more things oh, to talk sure. about. Let's do that now. What are the other things, Dan? Now you can cut it and we can record the last part. Just what to expect. I'm not editing um, anymore, man. This is like too much for me. What's what's the next Benny thing? McWarren, uh, blah, 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 I think we've covered everything, man. man. Well, what about what to expect? And, um, no, let's do just let's do one more thing and I'll go get through it real quick. Okay. <laughs> that. Dun, 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 dun. Snakey snake. Got to shout Are out we to recording Nutty right Rat. now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> shout out to Nutty Rat. Snakey snake. Okay, so as we are wrapping up right now, I know, it's awesome, dude. Razor, we love you. Um, As we're wrapping up with this first devlog, I think the first thing to say, you you started getting into it, is that we will be doing more devlogs. Um, The, the, how, how often we're doing them, right now, I'm feeling like every other week, twice a month. That's where I'm at right now. Mm -hmm. Um, And if we need more communication, that's fine. It could that could wind up being news posts like the the Monday update. We were kind of trying to wait and see what's going to be best for this year as far as regular updates. But one thing that we're taking into 2021 and we're taking very seriously is that we need to keep up communication with you guys and we're not going to drop the ball on that at all, I promise. So it's going to be a minimum of regular devlogs every month, but uh if we need to, you know, increase our communication in some other way, we will do that and we will be listening to you guys. We want to make sure that you're on the same page that we are every single week, every single month going forward uh, with this endeavor. So, um, you know, this is just one way that we will be communicating and we're open to um, doing more if we need to. Um, we will also this month, I made a promise that we're going to be expanding the Discord channel from just MechWarrior uh, 5 to basically a MechWarrior channel that will have the MechWarrior 5 and MechWarrior Online uh, areas so that we can all get there in there as a group. We have a place to go, um, you know, even when you're playing MechWarrior Online or whatever to talk amongst yourselves and group up. Yep. Um, we will also be uh, soon updating and opening up the wiki. Um, it needs to be updated and we need more editors. So we'll be uh, working on that shortly within this uh, first quarter. Um, I talked about the the, the dev logs. Um, 
we talked about community input. And I would say the last thing we're going to talk about, Matt doesn't even know, is because uh, I keep getting people asking me all the time about dev hunts. Will we be doing dev hunts? Oh, yes, yeah. we will absolutely be doing dev hunts. And I'll even get Matt out there uh, occasionally to be a target as well. We're working on a process to automate that so that we can schedule the dev hunt ahead of time and I don't have to manually um, deposit your rewards into your accounts. It will just happen automatically. So that I'm looking cool. forward that to that. That is actually really cool. Yeah, I'm hoping that we can get one scheduled, and I'm and I'm not going to promise here, guys, but I'm hoping we can get one scheduled for uh, Friday the 29th. So that's two weeks from now, um, and maybe get some involvement from other people that you yeah, know. It's worth mentioning the well. reason that it's going to take that long is the guy who does it is going to be on vacation until the 19th. <laughs> yeah, we've been waiting for a certain individual to get back who's very valuable and appreciated by us, but he's the one that's going to make that possible. So that's and why on there's a, a little bit of a delay on that vacation for sure. Absolutely. He's awesome. So anyway, that's everything that's going on right now. Um, again, we want to reiterate, Happy New Year. Hope you have you had a great holiday. Um, Matt and I are just super pumped for all this, guys. And we hope that you can get that feeling from us because this is genuine. Like, we are super excited about having this opportunity. And, um, you know, uh, we're going to work our asses off. That's the bottom line. Uh, we already have been, and we're going to continue to do so. So please work with us, have patience, communicate with us, and we'll be communicating with you. Yeah. Um, do you have anything else to say, Matt? Yeah, no, just, we're going to show you, we're going to like, it's going to be a, you know, a little bit, but we're going to show you exactly what our intentions are for 2021 and MechWarrior online. And, um, I can't wait. That's, I'm really, really excited. I'm stoked to be working with you, Darren. And, Likewise, uh, this man. last two weeks have been some of the funnest two the weeks best. That we've had so far. And uh, I've never wanted to go back to a job as bad as yeah. <laughs> like, you know, the holiday. Usually you're like, oh, man, I want this holiday to last for weeks and weeks. Um, I had that during COVID over the summer. I was so ready to come back and so pumped. And I've literally never said that about any job in my entire lifetime. So I am very happy to be here. I'm very happy to be working on this uh, with you and for you guys. Um, so I've been working on that, to, uh, MWO for nine years and I, I know I, I will hope to be working on it still in four to five years from now. Hell yeah, man. So, and beyond if we get, uh, so lucky, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like, like, who knows what the future holds? Like I didn't expect, yeah. I didn't expect it to last this long. Didn't and, expect this. Yeah. yeah. And absolutely and as well, like MW5, like the stuff they're doing, it's a completely different vlog to talk about that stuff. It is. Oh, and we will have oh uh, my God, Mech Warrior DLC, 5. DLC 2. <laughs> like, which which brings up, we will have Mech Warrior 5 vlogs as well. Matt and I are going to be busy, but yes. we love it. And we love you guys. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you for listening. And we will see you next time. See you guys. <laughs>